Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last month, around about the 13th, 14th of November, I posted a video that um, there were direct access connectivity issues um, after installing the Moment 1 update for Windows 11, which rolled out in October. And if we just head down to that update, that is this update, KB5019509, which was the Moment 1 update that rolled out the first wave of new features for Windows 11 version 22H2. Now, as I did mention in that video, just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, and I'll actually leave a link in the description to that video. After installing 5019509 or later updates, um, you might be unable to reconnect to direct access after temporarily losing network connectivity or transitioning between Wi-Fi networks or access points. Now, this was um, an issue that was mainly affecting enterprises and corporations and would affect IT admins and wouldn't really affect your home user. But nonetheless, I did post on this. And uh, there is an update that has rolled out. And I thought just to do this quick video, just to keep you in the loop if you were affected. Now, um, on Windows 11, the update 5019509 was causing the issues. And on Windows 10, it was the update KB5018482, which was the optional bug fix update that rolled out near the end of October for Windows 10. Now, Microsoft has recently um, updated their known issues um, dashboard, their health dashboard over on Microsoft Docs. And there is a resolution for this now. And this on Windows 11 version 22H2 was actually resolved on the 13th of December with the Patch Tuesday update that rolled out earlier uh, this week. KB5021255 for Windows 11 version 22H2. And uh, for Windows 10, that would be the Patch Tuesday update 5021233. So um, those Patch Tuesday security updates, which also um, included bug fixes, were and are resolving those issues for the direct access connectivity issues. Now, Microsoft says officially in the um, the update to their health dashboard over on Microsoft Docs that the issue was resolved in updates released December the 13th, 2022, which, as mentioned, was KB5021233 for Windows 10 and 5021255 for Windows 11. And um, they recommend that you install the latest security update for your device, which are those updates, because it contains important improvements and issue resolutions, including this one. And that this one they're talking about is that issue for the direct access connectivity issues after installing those previous updates, as mentioned. And um, if you install those updates released on the 13th of December or later, you do not need to use a known issue rollback or a special group policy to resolve this issue. And I did mention all that in that previous video, which I did say I would leave a link to in the description. So just letting you know, KB5021255 for Windows 11 version 22H2 and KB5021233 for Windows 10 have resolved those issues. And the affected systems and platforms, just to do a quick recap, were Windows 11 versions 22H2, Windows 10 version 22H2, Windows 11 version 21H2, Windows 10 version 21H2, 21H1, 20H2, Enterprise, LTSC 2019, and Windows Server 2022 and 2019. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.